Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given exponential equation 3 power 5x minus 1 plus 3 power 4 minus 5x equals to 28. And eventually, we are going to check our solutions as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And now let's recall the quotient rule of uh, exponents. We are going to apply it uh, on these uh, two terms on the left hand side. So therefore this first term uh, could be written as uh, 3 power 5x divided by 3 power 1 plus uh, this uh, second term could be written as uh, 3 power 4 divided by 3 power 5x equals to 28 uh, on the right hand side. And now we can see 3 power 1 is same as uh, 3 and likewise 3 power 4 is uh, same as uh, 81. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, 3 power 4 by 81 over here. Likewise uh, 3 power 1 uh, I wrote down as uh, 3. And now in order to make our job uh, simpler, let's go ahead and make a substitution. I'm going to let uh, this 3 power 5x uh, as y, likewise uh, 3 power 5x equals to y as well. So therefore I can write y equal to 3 power 5x. So therefore our this equation is going to become uh, y divided by 3 plus uh, 81 divided by y equals to 28. And now let me show you a simple trick to add these two fractions. We are going to cross uh, multiply a times uh, d plus the other way b times c all over and then we are going to multiply these uh, denominators. It's going to become b times d at the denominator. So we are going to apply the same uh, technique uh, on the left hand side of this equation. So let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply first. y times y is going to give us uh, y square plus uh, 3 times 81 is going to give us uh, 243 divided by. We are going to multiply out these uh, denominators. That's going to give us 3 times y equals to 28 on the right hand side. And now let's go ahead and remove this uh, fraction by multiplying uh, both sides by 3 times uh, y and we can see that 3 times y and 3 times y this is uh, gone so we ended up on the left hand side as uh, y square plus 243 equals to that is going to give us uh, 84 y on the right hand side. Let's move this uh, 84 y on the left hand side and since we are running out of the space uh, on this side so I have copied down uh, this equation over here. And now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it uh, by grouping and factoring. So therefore let's go ahead and tweak this uh, middle term. Negative 84y could be written as negative 3y minus 81y. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, negative 84y by this uh, negative 3y minus uh, negative 81y. And now we can see between these first two terms uh, y is in common and between these last two terms uh, negative 81 is in common. So therefore I can factor out y. So we ended up with y minus uh, 3 and here I'm going to factor out negative 81. Here we ended up with uh, y minus 3 equals to 0. And here we can see y minus 3 and y minus 3 is in common. So therefore let me factor out y minus 3 and then times y minus 81 equal to 0. Since these two factors are equal to 0 I can separate them. I can write y minus 3 equal to 0 and the other factor y minus 81 equal to 0 as well. And now for this uh, first equation y minus 3 equal to 0 means uh, y equal to positive 3 value. And for this uh, next equation uh, this could be written as y equals to positive 81 value. So thus our two solutions turn out to be y equal to 3 and y equals to 81. 
but we know our y value equals to 3 power 5x we did the substitution so therefore this very first equation could be written as i'm going to replace this y by 3 power 5x equals to 3 and likewise uh, on this uh, second equation i'm going to replace y as well by 3 power 5x equals to 81 and now let's focus on the right hand side 3 could be written as 3 power 1 and now we can see that our bases on both sides are identical so therefore we can equate their exponents so therefore i can write 5x equals to 1 let's go ahead and divide both sides by 5 so therefore our x value turns out to be 1 divided by 5 and now let's focus on this uh, next equation here 81 uh, we can uh, tweak it as uh, 3 power 4 and now we can see our bases on both sides are same so therefore we can equate uh, our exponents so therefore i can write 5x equals to 4 let's divide both sides by 5 so therefore our x value in this case turns out to be 4 divided by 5 so thus our two solutions turn out to be a 1 fifth and a 4 fifth and here's our next step let's go ahead and check our solutions over here for x equal to 1 fifth first i'm going to replace wherever i see x i'm going to replace it by 1 fifth as you can see in this step i have replaced this x by 1 fifth over here and here x by 1 fifth over here as well and we are going to check whether the left hand side is same as the right hand side and now we can see this 5 and 1 fifth they cancel each other out so we ended up with 3 power 1 minus 1 plus 3 power 4 minus and here they cancel each other out so we ended up with just 1 equals to 28 the question mark in between and now if we add the left hand side that gives us 28 and the right hand side is 28 as well so therefore we can see that this is a true statement so therefore we conclude that x equals to 1 divided by 5 is a valid solution and now we are going to check our solution for x equal to 4 fifth as well and i'm going to repeat the very same process as i did in the previous step i'm going to replace this uh, x by 4 fifth over here likewise this x by 4 fifth over here and we're going to see whether the left hand side is same as right hand side and if we simplify each and every step we are ended up with 27 plus 1 on the left hand side equals to 28 on the right hand side and now we can see that our left hand side is 28 and the right hand side is 28 as well so therefore this is a true statement so therefore we conclude that x equals to 4 fifth is our valid solution as well and here are our two solutions x equal to 1 fifth and x equals to 4 fifth thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye